Today we're going to be talking about different times in the Bible where people lie and God actually blesses them. Now we're also going to be looking at our lives and if there are actual times where we ourselves are allowed to lie. What does this have to do with Demon Slayer? Let's find out. Now I believe that there are actual times in our lives when we are allowed to lie specifically when it comes to saving somebody else's life. Now, some of you are already confused because I'm sure you know that there are various different verses in the Bible that look down upon lying and as Christians are teaching us that we should not lie. So the first example that I want us to take a look at happens in Exodus. Now, this takes place before Moses is born. Now, what's happening here is that the people of Israel are growing in numbers and Pharaoh is becoming concerned because they may grow to be too powerful for them to continue to oppress them. So what Pharaoh does is that he calls in two of the midwives that tend to these births. So what he says to them is, hey, when you are helping these Hebrew women give birth, I want you to kill any male that is coming out of the womb. So what happens here is that the midwives were fearful of God and they did not do what the Pharaoh asked. And in fact, when the Pharaoh is questioning what they're doing or what they have been doing, they basically tell him a lie, right? They tell him that these boys are being born even before they get there. And the last thing that we see here in these verses is that God blesses them because at the end of the day, they dealt kindly with God's people. Now, before I give you the second example that we're going to be looking at today, let's talk about Demon Slayer. Now, season two of Demon Slayer does not disappoint. I mean, this thing is packed with action and brand new moves that we have never seen before. And dare I say, this is one of the flashiest seasons that I've ever seen in an anime. Now, I need to know who are my real weaves here. Let me know in the comments if you caught that really bad joke that I just told. Now, out of all the action, fighting, and flashiness, what actually relates to the topic today is the cross-dressing. Now, for those of you that don't know what's going on in this season, what's happening is, is that they are a bunch of women that are going missing and our heroes are pretty sure that this is being done by a demon so what they do is is that they go undercover by dressing up and pretending to be women in order to figure out what is going on now i'm sure that a lot of you did not think about this when you were watching and i include myself in there and that is that ultimately these heroes at the end of the day are lying right and lying is not something that we normally attribute and consider when we're thinking of a hero now i'm sure that the reason why none of us question their actions of lying and deceit is because at the end of the day they're doing what they're doing in order to save lives and this is similar to what happens in our second example with rahab now, Rahab is a prostitute that lives in Jericho. And what's happening here is that Joshua has sent some spies into Jericho. Now, Joshua is the second leader in command that takes over when Moses dies. Now, Joshua sends these spies over to Rahab's house. Now, what happens here is that the king finds out that these spies have been staying at Rahab's house. So he himself sends some men in order to go figure out what's going on and potentially catch these spies. Now, when the king's men show up at Rahab's house, Rahab actually hides these men and she tells the king's men that they were there at a point, but they have since left and she doesn't know where they went. Now, ultimately, Rahab and her father's household are saved and are the only ones that survive because she dealt kindly with God's people. Now, I'm not saying in this video that it is okay for us to lie. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, don't go around using this video to justify you 
lying to other people. So here's the deal. Our standard, our posture towards lying should be that we should stay away from lying as much as possible. And the thing is, is that the verses that I shared with you, one of the things that you will notice is that God never approves the lies. Now, what I'm seeing here in these verses is that sometimes it may be okay, not right, but it may be okay or God may overlook a lesser evil like lying to avoid a greater evil like the killing of somebody. However, this is what we all need to keep in mind, that these cases are very rare and they are few and far in between. It is very unlikely that we ourselves are going to be faced with a situation where somebody's life is in our hands and the only way to save their lives is to lie. And I am talking about lying. I'm not talking about them avoiding some type of trouble. I'm talking about that death is on the line here. So go out there and live your life honestly. All right, guys, I hope that this was a blessing. And as always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.